Hey YouTube, uh, it's me, Trevor Lab here. Um, I gotta be quiet because people are sleeping. It's kind of like uh, what is it, 11:30 at night. Um, but I got something cool to show you. So you know how you 3D printer, you have lights around it, right, for cameras and stuff. Like I have a camera here, and therefore I installed LED lights up here. We always have the problem as if you install them and then you put them directly to your power supply well you can't turn your lights off while you're sleeping without unscrewing them from your power supply or having a manual switch so fix that uh, it's fully configurable as, as well I will show you that in a later video the configuration um, but basically the idea is whenever you go to the website for the printer like, whenever you go to, uh, so it's Trevor's Lab main printer, whenever you go to the configuration page on Octoprint, it automatically turns on the lights. Have a look. Okay, so see, I got my button here, so that'll load the page. Loading page. Octoprint. And once it connects to the printer, ting, lights come on automatically. I'll get into the code when I can actually talk a bit longer. Um, so yeah, there is. Also, I added a few more controls. Um, I'll, uh, I guess I'll upload the file to my server, and you guys can have a crack at it. Um, I've been getting into more of the software development type thing, so I want to log in here. So I'm going to be doing a series on heavily modding Octoprint from, you know, this to, I don't know, changing the underlying code. This was just adding some things in a configuration file. Okay, so I'm logged in. So... I might also do it whenever someone logs in. Uh, I'd have to look, see if I can do that. Uh, let me check. Oh. Like my desk. Nice and clean. Really nice and clean. Computer went underneath, everything. I like that, but basically... Oh, I don't have it up, but... Where is it? Uh, events documentation. File handling, printing, G code processing, uh, paused, waiting. Uh, time lapses, movie rendering, movie done, movie failed. Slicing started, slicing done. They don't have a user logged in type thing? No. Huh. Challenge accepted. We're backlit. They don't have a user logged in thing, so challenge accepted. Um, <laughs> I'm gonna put one in. And uh, probably submit a pull request to, uh, to Octoprint um, once it works. So. Maybe. Someday. But anyways. You also have full control. Whoops. Wrong one. I'm going to control. Uh, notice I have the camera, which is right there. You also have full control via the web interface. I have three relays on here on a four relay board. I just didn't put the fourth on there because I wanted a, a servo pin. So basically you have... Disable lights, so the disable lights button. Enable lights, so you can hear the relay clicking. Uh, the relays are back here. It's that little board connected to power supply and then connected to the servo pins on the Arduino. Because, yeah. And then I also I added the fan thing. This is a default configuration type thing when I was checking it out. And I added uh, move to coordinates 
and reporting so you can grab like you can grab positions um, so yeah it's my new series modding octoprint and playing with 3d printers in general they're fun well see you next time